Today is the day we renew our vows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugar? Oh, uh, no thank you, Gertrude. Some of us are watching our figures. You know, I still don't know if it's a good idea that we're seeing each other before the wedding. It's bad luck. You know, normally I would agree. But after surviving last night's attempted mass murder, I think we're pretty much immune uh -huh. to anything else bad happening. Oh, Gertrude, would you would you get that, please? Sure. Yeah. Hello? Gwen, is that you? No, it isn't. But you picked up her phone. Who am I speaking to? Gwen's madre? Who is this? Oh, well, this is Gertrude, the nanny. May I ask who's calling? No, you may not. Just put Gwen on the phone. Why do I think I heard this voice before? Well, just a minute. I mean, there's this woman on the phone, but she just won't say who she is. That's pretty rude. Okay, thank you, Gertrude. <clears throat> More coffee, Mr. Winter. Thank you. Gwen, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was just the salon calling me where they were calling to say my, my mother may be running a little bit late for the wedding. The ceremony's not for a couple hours, though. Yeah, I know. I guess she's uh, getting a lot done. It takes a while to give all four hooves a pedicure. So, Gertrude, would you please check on the children? Oh, sure. <clears throat> okay, so I have been thinking. That Gertrude deserves a raise. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, actually, I was thinking about our honeymoon. I, I really want to leave today, right after the ceremony. Well, Gwen, I mean, I kind of wanted to spend some time with the children. I mean, little Ethan and Jane, we're not going to see a lot of them after they go on their trip with Pilar. I know, I know, but it's our honeymoon, and the kids are going to be way too tired from the wedding to want to stay up late. Can you please tell me we can leave today? Okay. I want the truth. What is going on? What's the rush with... Leaving for our honeymoon so soon. All right, what is going on here? Why do you want to leave so soon after the ceremony? I am just so eager to start our honeymoon. Picture it, okay? Us leaving from the church, rose petals coming down. It's just such a perfect romantic way to start our life together. It really means a lot to you, doesn't it? It really does, more than you know. Please do this for me. Do this for us. I promise to make you happy you do. All right, all right. We will leave for our honeymoon right after we leave the church. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Gertrude, you're back. Oh, yes. The children are just fine. Well, then. Then it's all set. This is going to be perfect. What a perfect way to start our life together this time around. I am so, so excited to be your wife all over again. So I better get ready and... Pack my things for the church. <laughs> so, Gertrude, I um, just want to remind you that I'm watching you. And I meant what I said this morning. Try to do anything at all to uh, mess up this ceremony. And you're going to regret it. This morning? I didn't talk to Gwen this morning. Gertrude. I'm not, there's something I wanted to say to you. Oh? I wanted to thank you for saving my life last night. I don't think I would be here right now if it weren't for you. I'm just glad you're okay. You know, I couldn't bear it if anything happened to you. Well, you know, Jane and Jonathan, they were just devastated. I mean, you are their father and, well, little Ethan, now that you're adopting him. Actually, there's something else I wanted to tell you, and I couldn't tell Gwen. What is that? Well, last night at the church, when I was affected by the poison, I saw a woman watching over me. She had long brown hair. She had big brown eyes. She had a beautiful smile. And when I saw her, I felt love felt happiness and it was Teresa and she was there Gertrude Gertrude Teresa was there 
I know you probably think I'm crazy. Oh. I'm not. I'm not. As sure as I'm standing here, Teresa was at that church last night. You're right, Ethan. I was. Mr. Winthrop, how is that possible? She is dead. I know. I know she's dead, but it doesn't matter. I know what I felt. She was there. I bet she wishes she could have been. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's what I'm wishing for, too. Because she couldn't have been there, right? There's no way. Maybe I was hallucinating from the poison or something, but, oh, my God, it was so real. It felt so real, and I just wish that... You just wish what? I wish I could hold her. I wish I could be with her and just touch her again. You don't give anything in the world for that. I'm sure she would give anything to be with you, Ethan, anything. But I can't take the chance. I can't. The limo is here to take us to the church. <laughs> okay, I'll get my tux. I already have it. It's, it's in the car with my gown. Why don't we just get ready at the church? Okay, I need the luggage for the honeymoon, though. It's already in the car. It's packed and ready to go so we can leave for our honeymoon right from the ceremony. Oh, oh, I, I thought you were spending the evening here with Jane Little Ethan and Jonathan and before leaving tomorrow. There has been a change of plans. I see. Let's just, let's just go to the church now so we don't have to rush when we get there. I have waited for this moment for so long. I want to enjoy every second of it. I'm really glad that you're so happy about this. I am. I am beyond happy. Our recommitment ceremony is going to be perfect, just like the rest of our lives together. Ethan, I can't believe it. I mean, this is it. This is actually happening. This is the beginning of our happily ever after. And the end of my dream of a life with Ethan and our children. I'm like I'm carrying my own rope to my own hanging. I cannot believe this. Gwen is actually going to be with Ethan after everything she and her mother have done. I could sabotage this without looking suspicious. I would, but I can't. Hey, Gertrude. Oh. I was hoping to see you. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just went back to the sanctuary to the place where I had thought I had seen Teresa. Oh? Yeah, I was just hoping to feel her presence. And could you? No, I couldn't. Oh. Well, I guess she went back to uh, where she came from then, huh? Well, if she was here at all, I think the poison that I ingested is playing some tricks on my mind or something. You don't really believe that now, do you? You caught me. I'm, I don't know what to believe anymore. I really don't. All I know is that she's gone. And that I've lost the love of my life. Well, you still have Gwen. It's not the same. You should know. I mean, you, you lost the one love of your life, right? 